Aviv, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Um, pleasure to be here. We have been working for the very, as a, we just spoke before the camera was turned on, that, that actually it's because of uh, Hikon that Inkish exists. This is unbelievable. I didn't, I didn't know it. I, I remember the first video that we did, but I didn't know that this was your that was our first birth. video that you did. It was our. <laughs> it was not the first video we did, but it was the first video we did from outside Denmark. Unbelievable. And that was like a starting point where I started to realize, okay, there's my might be might be a business for videos, but the, of course we're not talking about my business. We're talking about your business because you are. Founder and CEO of uh, Hikon. Founder and the uh, CMO. CMO. That's yeah. Chief Marketing Officer. Exactly. So who is the CEO? The CEO is Shlomo Nimrodi. Uh, I was the CEO of the company till recently, and we did a change that I will be more in focus with customers. Okay, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you have the you have the pleasure of going out and meeting customers and see what needs they have. Exactly. And, okay. Exactly. This is how we establish the company from a need. Mm. So we understand that uh, actually customers came to us. I worked for Indigo before that, that said, it's nice that you're printing fast, but uh, we need not a printed material fast. We need a product fast. <laughs> this yeah, is how the how, uh, Hikon established mm. 10 years ago. Mm. In November, it's 10, 10 okay. years ago. So you're going to have a huge party or? Uh, party. A yeah. party. We're okay. going to have a okay. party. Yeah. Rec decent party. OK, that's great. Uh, and you said that you started because of a need uh, in the market, but to make to make uh, products like the Euclid and the Beam and getting into making laser pa uh, cut in paper, isn't that just a crazy idea? This is. I mean, wasn't it a crazy idea? Th this is the fun. Time? This is the fun part. Okay. Uh, because we started from the need, and we know that uh, finishing was analog. And the opportunity to change finishing to be digital, this is, uh, this is exciting because pre-press is digital, printing is moving to digital very fast, and finishing left behind analog. Mm. So the need is exist. And now we came from uh, Indigo, uh, my partner and myself, and uh, we, we, are not, we are not afraid from technology. Mm. So there is a need. Now we need to find a solution we will find a way to cut and to crease according to a technology that exists in the market or to develop uh, something yeah. unique. Yeah. So I was doing a film for you in, uh, with Autochon in, uh, in France as well. And one of the things I always, I also think I saw a post you did on Facebook the other day where you said that when you see uh, uh, some name tags or some Christmas gift yeah. tags, it was like laser dancing. Laser dance because it looks so stunning when you see that yeah. laser thing. But I mean, the reason I was asking if it was a crazy idea was like, it's like putting uh, fire on paper, right? Yeah. It's very concentrated, right? It's, it's very concentrated yeah. and the, the beam is very, very focused in order to really to cut very fast. And from one generation to the second generation, we, we are cutting even faster and even sharper. Mm. So, uh, and yeah, it yeah. came from crazy idea, but uh, the reality is uh, a lot of installation in the market, customers are doing money with the technology in different segments. Mm. Folding carton, corrugated, commercial printers, all of them are using the technology for production. Yeah, this yeah, is that's the, the important, important thing, yeah, because I mean, yeah. I think that we, as we also spoke about before, then when you go to <clears throat> to Drupa, I know that you have this huge booth again at 2020. Of course. But, <laughs> but when you look at Drupa, I think that which is fair and unfair, but I think that you have got a lot of attention. It's fair that you got the attention, but I think it was great to see that you great did some stunning thing with uh, your technology from more like it almost like an artistic perspective, right? And I think that was great because that showcased really uh, the capabilities of, of uh, Hikon's uh, products. But at the same time, I think that taking it from there to be like industrial production, that was like important step for you all the past years to actually showcase that we're now not just talking about art, we're talking about something that is, as you said, for corrugated, for folding cartons, for, for any kind of substrates that, that actually where it makes sense to make it digital, right? Exactly. Uh, the ability to do creative, this is part of the technology and we, we would like that the designers will have the freedom to design whatever they want. From the other side, you need to sell and our customers need to sell their products. Mm -hmm. And for that, First you use, you're doing what you're doing today better. 
better in terms of time to market, mm -hmm. better in terms of manufacturing what you need when you need it and not manufacturing to stocks. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you have the design capabilities that you can do creative things and then to sell value also. So what you're saying, if I understand you correctly, is that one thing is that you can do the art thing. Another thing is that you can do the daily production thing. But combining these things actually opens up for the more conventional converters to make types of packaging, for example, that they've never been able to do before. Yes, of course. But again, first, they are marketing the big benefits are time to market and no minimum quantity. Yeah. This is the main things that actually can return the machine very fast. Yeah. On top of that is the creativity. Yeah. And we are doing now a few jobs with uh, brand owners that uh, I can't reveal their names, but, but uh, it's in the market already. Very unique designs. And the brand owner, they need it, uh, the shelf appeal that it will be fantastic. Mm. But they need it also fast. Mm. And today, the time to market in order to design and manufacture a box and put it on the shelf is around 27 weeks. Yeah. So that alone, if, if you have a digital press and you have an icon, that time to market, of course, changes dramatically. Uh, and, and you can even make smaller print runs at a feasible prices as well, right? Because you don't have any setup cost, basically, right? I mean, exactly. Yeah. And well, we have customers that are doing, you know, 24 hours delivery. Yeah. Uh, fast, right? For, for those who don't know your products, because there is probably some who don't. And I would just say that, you know, every time I see a Hikon, and I think that when I went to Autochon, uh, I think that one of the things that was really interesting for me to be there is that, you know, when you go to a trade show, you always see perfection made demo jobs, of course. And then you go to a huge printing company and you see that it's actually put side by side by the bobs, by the yeah. folding machines, by the gluing machines, by the offset machines, exactly. everything like that. And I, their, their approach was like, okay, we, it's the, the offset machines are today so fast setting up so we can even make small print jobs on the offset machines, but yeah. it was the finishing part, the die cutting, that was this the... This is the bottom line. Yeah. So for those who don't know what you do, is basically that you have like a, a range of machines and these are laser like cutting. And then you also have the darts that are uh, 3D printed inside the machines. So you, yeah. when you make like crease lines and perforations and uh, perforations increases, you can do that, uh, everything inside one machine. Everything inside one machine and the target was to replace the die cutting tools and the die cutting machine together. So it's a combination of repair everything on one machine. Yeah. And uh, the creasing, we are doing it with a special polymer, and this is a 10 minutes, a 15 minutes uh, work, and then you, you, this is the setup time. Yeah. And then you can start production. Yeah. Uh, the sheet is moving between two drum and get the creasing, then move to the lasers, and the laser is doing few things. It can cut, it can perforate, it can etch, it can kiss cut. You have different ways to handle the laser, the power of the laser in order to do different, uh, a different solution, different uh, performance factors on the box or on the, the other product that we can do on the machine. It's funny that you mentioned the etching because when, when we, we went to Bennett Graphics two weeks ago, well, the last week was actually, and they had like a, a catalog where they are presenting their, their designs to their designers and they're doing uh, this etching on, on some semi-leather yeah. and it was done on, done on the Hikon and I was just like, wow, it just looks so nice. I mean, and it must. I mean, I mean, it must be kind of satisfying for for you as a as a founder to see that 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 crazy idea you got ten or more than ten years ago that had turned out to a product that works for printing companies. I, I hope it makes money for their customers, of course. But I think that one thing is, of course, the money. I I, I truly hope they make money on the investment. But the second thing is they that are doing. they are doing that. But the second thing, which I really appreciate, is that as well as a, from an outside perspective, is that you do stunning from an artistic perspective, from a creator perspective, from, from, as you said, if you want to have something that on a shelf should be unique and you should have something that really attracts things, that your, your machine is doing that now every day. Yeah, this, this is fun, this is fun, this is fun to see our customers doing money and to see the product on the shelf. Mm. This, is, this is amazing. Mm. And uh, you know, it's a uh, creation, it's from nothing. Yeah. Uh, we came uh, with the idea and uh, we started design 
make uh, the first machine and now we have customers that working with the machine all over the world in all the continents and we have in Australia and we have in Africa we have in in uh, Americas in uh, in Asia and all over and you're even getting uh, uh, I, I, as far as I remember correct me if I'm wrong and if it's not public we will cut it out but haven't you you have sold like the second machine also like to, to some companies have more than one machine right we have six or seven customers that bought the second machine already and I guess that you can be stupid enough to buy one but you can't be stupid enough to buy two right exactly <laughs> if, if you're not doing money on the first machine you're not going to buy the second one yeah and this is this is a good example yeah the last one is CSI in the US that yeah. they bought the that second machine. That was the one machine. I remember, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this, mm. uh, we published it recently. Yeah. You know, and they fill one machine, they have another location, they bought another machine. Yeah. This is, uh, this is the way to present that actually customers enjoy with the technology mm. and doing money. Yeah. If you look at uh, from where you started till now, uh, I think that every time where a new technology is introduced to the market, uh, as you said, you, even though you come from understanding a customer's need and then you start developing and you figure out how to do that and then there's a green machine, it's called the Hikon Euclid, right? I'm just, I'm just curious, uh, from the idea is presented to the first customer actually buys a machine, that must be a tremendously exciting time, like nerves, like can we cope with this? Right. This, this is amazing because uh, you would like to see that actually the vision became a reality. Yeah. And uh, when the first customers start to use it and give you feedback, this is amazing. Yeah. Of course that, you know, first feedback, most of the time you need to correct here, you need to correct there. Of course. But for disruptive but, but isn't technology... But that, isn't that like that with every technology you do, right? Exactly. I mean, yeah, and yeah. this is for disruptive technology. If you're not getting a lot of reaction that you need to correct, it means that it's not disruptive. Precisely, yeah. yeah. So you need to look at the half full glass. Yeah, yeah. And the half full glass is, if you get a lot, of, a lot of feedback, it means that you did something and the customers would like to help you to improve. Mm. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, you have like an external R&D. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the the R&D is supporting, you know, really collecting from the customers their feedback, mm. their problems, mm. their features mm. that they would like and implement it uh, afterwards. Mm. And, how, and how has the market been to you? Have, have they, has it been uh, per plan or has it been more difficult than you anticipated? I mean, every starting process is, of course takes time, but I, mean, I was just curious, is it, has it been on plan more or less? Because I guess that you needed to invest a lot of money and time in this project. Exactly. So you need it's, to have an RI, of course. <laughs> you're right, like, uh, like uh, every business. But uh, I think, you know, uh, I am as an entrepreneur, all the, t all the time wants more than what, what I am achieving. Okay. So, but you, but you, need, you, need, you, need to, <coughs> Sorry. you need to strive for, uh, for a big, and then, you know, to try to, to achieve it. But uh, all the time as uh, someone that builds uh, something from, from zero, mm. I want more. Mm. I mean, you have some competition in the market, maybe not in the same ra range or level, but did they come after you? Were you the first one that presented yeah. a laser machine like this? We are not calling it, it's uh, not a laser machine. It's, no, no, yeah. It's digital cutting yeah, increasing. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, sorry, but it's more like it's more like because basically I must say that every time I see uh, a Hikon working, even though it's through the the the, the brown glass, it's just like uh, or the dark glasses. It's always like as you said, like the lasers dancing. It's so fascinating to see. You know, I I I'm not a developer. I don't know anything about this. But when you see how the lasers are working, and when you see that actually. You know, as, as you know, uh, every printer, the first thing they will do, they will smell, they will be, I beat it, uh, eat it or bite in it, and they will look if there's a brown edge on it. You, ha you have even managed that on uh, a lot of different substrates that you can do something where it's virtually not seeable. You cannot see anything on it, right? It's just like, that's why I call it a laser thing. And I know it's maybe wrong because that will maybe put some off. Is that why you're not saying it or? Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what to if you're in the, in the packaging business, it's not just you're not just cutting. You have to cut and to crease. Because you have the other things, of course. And yeah. and part of the part of the innovation is the creasing. Yeah. And the combination of cutting and creasing with the speed of production, this is 
big part of the innovation and this is where we are differentiating ourselves from other competitors. Let's talk about a, li a little bit about the future. So uh, you have the high can Euclid, is it two or three now? Two or? It's three. Three, yeah. Euclid and then three. you have the Beam, right? We have the Euclid 3 and we have Euclid 3C for corrugated. Co yeah. And we have the Beam that is more faster, faster machine yeah, than the Euclid. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, what is the next step for, for technology like yours? I, I'm not going to tell you all the secrets. Uh, I'm not, I'm not asking for any secrets. I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, I was, you, you know, you know, for example, if you look at digital print, you, you, you go from, you go from having a four color to have a five color, right? Uh, you go from having built in varnish to have, you know, I mean, so I was more like in general terms, if yeah. you look at, because you said that, that when you started Hikon and when you started talking, uh, developing, uh, it was from a demand in the market. Yeah. Now you have a lot of machines in the market. You have way more expense. You have way more people in the market. So you must also get a lot of more feedback yeah. from the market. So more from a world perspective, uh, where, where, where is digital finishing heading? Um, what, what we see now is that uh, still continuing our vision, folding carton and corrugated, this is the, the main area that we would like, to, uh, would like to grow. And we see huge opportunity because the amount of die cutting, digital, the regular conventional die cutting machine in that market is huge and the opportunity is huge and the market is growing. Sometimes it's not pro pro uh, proportional uh, to the, uh, to the uh, GDP because e-commerce, for example, is really changing the market. So you see a few trends that actually... Ah, so you can say that if you have a GDP where you have a, a rapid growth and that is maybe with e-commerce, then, then there can be a, an even higher need for for, for small print run, digital fast moved uh, packaging as well. Is this is one, one side. From the other side, the sustainability is getting uh, faster and bigger and uh, more importance to the, to the world. And this is for us, this is, uh, this is part of the technology because if you can manufacture what you need when you need it, it's actually helping the sustainability. Mm. That's interesting, right? So mm -hmm. you look like a happy man. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm very happy. Okay. I enjoy every, every moment. Okay. And uh, we are here at Printing United. Uh, I have to ask you, so how has it been the first day for you? Very good. Okay. Uh, we see a lot, of, uh, a lot of interaction with customers, people that didn't know us before, people that know us and would like to continue the conversation. So it's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nota. Thank you.